play can really uh, boost you up coming into the to the playoffs and play-ins, I think. And that's the way you're gonna want to look at this match, maybe as a kind of a testing ground coming into the to the playoffs and play-ins. If you if you're probably definitely looking at that with uh, their sub playing Dalmus by the looks of it, maybe they're looking to change it up coming into the uh, play-ins and playoffs. Uh, maybe see what he can do in these sort of matches because. These are the sort of games they're going to be looking up and playing uh, if they're going to maybe those losers brackets if they lose that first game. But yeah, really need to test out some new some new uh, game styles and see what they can do against some top teams as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely got to kind of put them through their paces. Um, but we do have a little bit of spare time if we briefly look at the kind of Ignis table. Um, Third to sixth is very, very close. All of them one <laughs> game win apart. 36 for Fearless Bravo. And then it goes down 35, 34, 33, um, down to sixth place. So it's it's very, very tight. And you don't know kind of who's going to be making these, these play-ins because, um, you know, anything could happen in these results. Um, luckily, uh, Fearless Bravo for them kind of gifted that 4-0 with the forfeit coming out from Digestives. but they're really going to have to pull something together today and try and um and i think we were waiting for one of the uh, teams to join but they they are in the lobby now they're straight into the game uh, ready and raring to go they want to get into this one and see what they can do. The last game for both of these teams in week nine, their last chance to kind of move themselves up the standings. And it is going to be a win for Tubby. Flicking it over one player, going for the shot, but just can't quite get the touch. That's going to go to Fearless Shade to use the backboard, trying to find the shot again, but Zeno will clear that one away. Benzi trying to get this one past the halfway line, but instantly the pressure coming in from Fearless Bravo. They're just all over these challenges, blocking everything, but RP up for this one, goes for the shot and it might go all the way. Benzi with not enough boost to scramble back to defense and clear it away. And the first goal comes in for Fearless Bravo. Yeah, they did have the pressure at the start of this game. Big shot coming from all the way from down the field. I think it might be a bit of miscommunication from uh, this prelude side. Maybe player of a sub might be throwing them off in this match so far and we need to pick up the pace and go on the attack, starting from this kickoff. Yeah, definitely, and they have done so. A pass mid and Benzi finding the corner. That one bouncing high, and two players up, but Fearless Shades will get it to the side wall. Two players up again, a double commit from Fearless Bravo, and the net's open, but the shot just not hard enough. RP clearing that one away to the corner, and Tubby now is going to get that one past the halfway line, but Zeno just piling this pressure on. He needs to get the pass mid. And Daruma up for that one, but again, just can't find the shot of 50 coming into the favor of Prelude, but two players scrambling and they pass it off to D Daruma to score the equalizer. What kind of sloppy defense. They just panicked on the ball there. They cleared it right out into him and it's 1-1. Yeah, I'm not sure what's coming on from the pre uh, from the uh, fearless side there. Really struggling to defense to get it out and Daruma's seeing the opportunity and going for it. Just... Banging it into the back of the net, but really gifted to him that goal. Hopefully they can uh, push on now and maybe get a couple more goals from that sort of pressure they've accumulated from the, the, the restart. Yeah, they're oh, definitely the looking yes. swapping yeah. another one. <laughs> Finding the back of the net, 2-1 for Prelude. And I'm not really sure what happened here. RP just trying to go, go from the dribble and it gets 50. Shades can't find the touch. to clear that one onto the crossbar. And it's only been, what, kind of 30 seconds, Speedy, and we've gone from, you know, 1-0 lead for Bravo to a 1-0 lead for Prelude. Yeah, really sloppy defending coming out from both teams so far. So I can imagine big goal-scoring games at the moment because, yeah, it just seems like he's not really getting out the fence fast enough. A lot of 50-50s go in, and if it stays like this, I can see a lot of goals going in in these games. Yeah, definitely. We are, it will be a, a high-scoring matchup. Both teams very, very good offence, but... Kind of lacking on the defense, RP will just be able to get there to block that one. But Darama putting the pressure on two players front post, but the clear comes out. And RP finding it past one, but straight to Zeno. And Zeno just trying to take it all the way himself. He's going to go up for that one. Beat out the defense. 
and now they have the two goal lead. Yeah, just a big push down that right hand side then, just banging it in. Just wide open again from that, that fearless side, down that right hand side. Seems like there's two players just popped over both of them. If they can maybe show up this defence and try and push out from the back, they might be able to put, put some pressure on this pre-league team, but they had a really strong start. I'm not sure what's happening to them after that. It's a big clear comes out there, but not much uh, comes off it, and hopefully they can put some pressure on now. Yeah, Fearless Bravo looked so strong coming into this one right off the bat of game one. They just put so much pressure on, got the first goal early, but now letting three in. And they've got to find two, but that whiff's going to help them out. Phyllis Shades with the shot, but Benzi will get the save. Tubby up for this one, trying to get it mid for his teammate, but again, cleared away by Darima. Darima demoed in the process, but Zeno is there to follow up and a nice high ball. And can Benzi get to it? He just can, knocking that one onto the crossbar. A close chance for the Bravo side and uh, one of the most threatening ones we've seen in the, in the last kind of minute of gameplay. Again, Benzi just trying to find it. Round one, he finds it round Shades. And Shades kind of in the way of that one. Everyone in the corner. And is Eno going to be able to take it all the way he is? And a 4-1 lead now for Prelude. And they, they just, they looked sloppy at the start, but they just ramped it up, scored these goals, and now looking very strong in this game one. Yeah, really start to ramp up after that, that goal they conceded. And yeah, it just looks like communication is not working at the moment for Fearless, but it really is for Prelude as it looks like they're going for another oh. shot from kickoff. But yeah, just hoping they can maybe get some communication. Seems like they're, they're losing the positioning on the pitch at the moment from Fearless. Yeah, they, they definitely lost something. They were very strong at the start, but yeah, yet again, no really threatening chances of nice booming clear from Benzi. Benzi can't find the touch on that one. Darima up. And he is going to beat out one of the defenders. RP up for a touch here. Clearing it to the right side. And Tubby will find it round another player. Can he get it mid? He can't. Benzi quick on his feet to that one. RP from the corner into the mid. But again, no one there for Fearless Brava. They just have two people back. And although they have all these people back, all these defenders, it's just kind of, you know, goal after the goal coming in from Prelude. Yeah, I think even though they have so many back, maybe a couple of people are going at the same time when they are back, and it's just creating that gap for Prelude just to sneak in and get those couple of goals in. Uh, I think they have tightened up a little bit after that, that fourth goal, and hopefully like, in the rest of the series they can keep this going as they keep an attack going at the moment. They definitely are, but just again, no one mid. Tommy Custard so far on that right side, but Phyllis Shades finding it round one gets the 50. Off the ceiling, into the corner, into the safe spot of the pitch for that prelude side. But RP just throwing kind of a light shot on target. Tubby Custer trying to take his time, but Zeno there to deny that one. Gets the 50 onto the backboard. Darumus is there and it's all the prelude show now. 5-1 for prelude. A wonderful goal. No one on that backboard. Just sniping the top of the crossbar and Daruma is there to follow up. 5-1 for prelude. Yeah, looking solid so far. Wouldn't look like they're playing with their sub. Damas really coming in clutch in these game in this game so far. Not showing that they've missed their top goal scorer because he's just banging them in every time the ball does go centre at the moment. Yeah, they're definitely not. They they're scoring the goals and they are getting the saves as well. And we're looking at Fearless Bravo now for an answer for a comeback because they looked so strong at the start of the game, but just. Ever since then, there wasn't a threatening chance. As I say that, a nice shot coming out from, I think it was, RP. But goes no further. And Prelude taking game one in, in a very kind of dominant fashion. Yeah, I think they lost a lot of pressure in this game when they just started to defend just a little bit too much. Gave Prelude just a little bit too much respect, I think. And they really did capitalise on it. Damas getting those goals, same with... Uh, Exno and uh, Benzi in this game, all of them getting on the score sheet. It's definitely a good thing to see. And yeah, really capitalising on the space that, that Fearless gave them in that game. Yeah, I mean, despite there being five goals, no one on a hat trick. It is kind of evenly spread between the players. Um, and looking at the demos, it's looking very kind of... that. There's not many coming in from Fearless Bravo. I think that's something they need to definitely step up. This, this defence from Prelude has been solid and you, you can see uh, Benzi on four saves 
uh, saving a lot of the goals. If all of those went in, it would be a 5-5 game. So they, they need to bring the physicality out now, take Benzie out the game, open some chances for them because they do have the edge on the shooting percentage. It's just the defense for prelude is too good. Yeah, yeah. The defense, I think, is the difference. I think the defense for Fearless is looking kind of weak at the moment compared to the, the solid wall at the back for, for prelude at the moment. I think that is the big difference in the game at the moment is it looks like we're going into the second game. And it's going to be kind of hopefully all the Fearless Bravo show now. They really need to come back from this one and not the best kickoff to start it off into the corner. Shades taking his time, but Daramus instantly there and it's looking kind of ropey, but it does get cleared away. Zeno up for that one, gets the touch, gets another one as well, straight to Benzi. Benzi with a shot. Zeno touches it round the last defender and he just needs to pass this mid. He does so, but Fearless Shades is there to scurry that one away. Can't find the touch. Straight to RP, the 50 going into the corner and Zeno taking his time on this one, giving a lot of space here, gets the 50. Onto the backboard. Mr. Benzie up, but can't find a double touch. That definitely, definitely could have been a clip of the week, but it's it's still all the prelude show. They have a lot of pressure. They're saving everything and they're throwing some dangerous chances on target. Yeah, keeping up the pressure from last game. Just need to get that finishing back from that last game. And they might be able to, to take the lead here as the ball does go in the middle. But yeah, again, just a miss past the ball. I think that might be the difference if they just finish it off. They keep that score from last game, but... Yeah, definitely looking solid so far in the second match. They definitely are indeed. And very back and forth. No one kind of finding themselves on the score sheet. But as I say, that off the backboard, Daramus up. Can't find the touch. Mr. Benzi can't find the touch either. And Prelude with all the pressure, but just can't find a goal. They're very diff diff uh, different on the last game, being 5-1. A lot of early goals coming in, but... The defences are a lot better so far in this game too. Daramus taking that away from his teammate. RP is up and no one's back. Zeno rushing back. He will get it to the corner. Can't get the boost. Trying to get the other touch, but can't. And Tubby up to RP. RP can't find the touch again. And Daramus with the clear. And very back and forth. The defences are holding up, but they might not be for long as Darama finding the shot on target. Off the sidewall there. No one covering that. That kind of close post. RP with the with the missed touch. Can't find the clear away. And Prelude again take the lead. Yeah, we could all see that one coming. Last two minutes been all over Fearless. Uh, just haven't been able to find that goal. Couple of aerials just going astray. But Damas looking like he's getting on the end of these shots at the moment. Really impressing me in this match so far. Yeah, I mean, he is meant to be the sub. We did kind of hype this game up as a, a sub versus sub game. And Darama scoring a lot of goals. I think two in the last one, one in this one already. And it might be a second one for Prelude. Mr. Benzi finding it round the last defender. And again, it's that close post. It's just never defended as soon as they get a touch on there. Shades can't find the touch again. And it just goes round him 2-0 for Prelude. And this is exactly what they need now. They have one game one in dominant fashion. And they just need to keep it up, keep the momentum, keep the goals coming in and just... Don't give kind of Fearless Bravo the opportunity to kind of settle themselves and get into the game because it's really kind of going the way of Prelude at the moment. Yeah, definitely. The pressure has all been onto that Fearless side and keeping up the pace as they have been, really been beating them to every ball. And I think that's been the main difference. I don't think mechanically wise or anything like that, there's been any massive difference. It's just that Prelude is just faster to the ball and Fearless just looks second best so far. They definitely do, and they need to be grabbing every game from this series that they can. And two goals down, two minutes left, a minute per goal, but they just can't leave their half right now. Fearless Shades trying to get it clear, but again, Darama, kind of the star player for them at the moment, keeping them locked in. Their half, Zeno with the shot, and two defenders are there, but no one gets the touch. Zeno just finding it around both of them, finding it into the goal, and... Everyone front post there, but no one challenging. No one even kind of attempting to get a clear. And it's just goals given away to Prelude now. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on in the uh, fearless comms here, but I do think they're having a bit of a struggle at the moment because I think Shade should have really gone for that one over RP, but 
it doesn't look like there's a call made out. So if they can really tighten up their calls, maybe get some get some solid defence going in and they really get back into this game. Maybe a, a mentality switch. But yeah, they're really struggling defensively at the moment, I feel like. They are. And when they do kind of leave their half, they are putting a few kind of dangerous shots on target. They are getting the opportunities. They just need to break free from their half a little bit more. And is that one going to go all the way? It is. Darima again with his second goal of this game. Just sniping it from his own box all the way down. And no one there. RP with no boost to kind of scramble to get that one clear. And 4-0, another four-goal lead for Prelude. Yeah, really looking dominant so far. Um, every single game. You wouldn't think they're playing with a sub because the man is just banging them in left, right and centre. Um, yeah, definitely Henry looking for that place in playoffs, I feel like, for this uh, Prelude side if he's playing like this. Yeah, I mean, with it being the last week, they're looking strong coming into the playoffs again. Just trying to find something. But RP will clear it away. Darima just dribbling that one to his teammate Zeno with a 50, but Fearless Shades will be there to get that one clearer. And Benzi with a missed touch. This might open an opportunity, but again, cleared away. And that was their strongest chance so far. And the counter coming in. Darima almost with the double touch off the post. Zeno finding the crossbar. Can Benzi find the shot again? onto the backboard and they just can't get it in the back of the goal but having said that they really don't need to four goals from prelude and the closest opportunity from fearless bravo just you know didn't even go on target just gets cleared away yeah but it did really show how well this prelude defense is and the difference between these two teams because it's just solid defending from prelude and another goal comes out as benzi just passes every player on the fearless side really nice play here on that on our wall, coming down and beating Bravo and RP. It looks like every time they can see the goal, there's someone on this wall it's just really struggling to get the ball. I think that's something they might need to, to work out coming into this play-ins. Yeah, definitely. They really need to work on their defense and a disconnect from RP. Or maybe just kind of putting his controller down, giving up on this one. A little bit of a lapse in the mentality, maybe. Or maybe a disconnect. No, he is back. He is back on the pitch. Back ready to go for game three. But there might be another goal, Mr. Benzi. Just finding the post, can't get it round the post, but what a showing from Prelude. A, a kind of picture perfect replication from last game from them. I mean, two goals, two goals, one goal. Every player getting on the score sheet. And last uh, game, we saw Benzi on four saves. He's got none this game. Nothing really too dangerous coming in from Fearless Bravo. The one save on Darima. Um, but apart from that, they're just not really finding their footing in this game, being able to pick anything together and it's really hurting them they need to get some games and they really need to sort out this defense because they're just letting goals in at the moment yeah really struggling same as last game but they, they didn't have pressure anywhere in this match last game started the game nice pressure i thought it was gonna be a really nice showing from fearless but coming to the second game really lacking in having any pressure whatsoever and you could it just shows it with the saves from the prelude side but um, yeah, just looking clinical at the moment, especially Damas. Man, I'm so far for me. I don't want to think he, but at the moment, he's playing incredible, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, he's meant to be the sub. He's more like a super sub coming in and just destroying everyone, really. So many goals, so many saves coming out from him. And it really has been the series for him. He's performed very well and he's going almost off the ceiling. All the past mid cleared away again. And RP dropping that one to Cubby. Surely they get the first goal, but the double commit. And no one finding the touch again. The golden opportunity was there. And they needed to get a goal early in this game. They needed to go up one early to kind of counteract the momentum from Prelude. But the, the chance was given to them and they just couldn't score the goal. Yeah, just gifted an opportunity. And that just shows the difference between the two teams. It's gifted another one. And they're just not clinical enough on the attack at the moment to, to put it in the back of the net. And struggling at defence as well. Really... Both sides not coming up at the moment. I did think they looked good on the attack the last, not last game, the game before. But now it looks like maybe the mentality is, is uh, waning a bit on this team. Yeah, I mean, we did see kind of RP you know, putting his controller on the desk in that last game, just giving up. And he can't be given up. It is the last game, their last chance to really secure themselves that third spot. And they've given two games away and trying to find something. Fearless Shades taking it all the way himself, but again, it will get cleared away. Tubby Custard again with a 50. Zeno 
finding it round one RP onto the corner, but Benzi is there. And the defensive setup from Prelude is, is just kind of tiers above uh, Fearless Bravo. They have someone on the backboard, someone front post, someone back post, someone challenging. And every kind of place the ball can go, there's someone there to challenge it. And it's really working out for them. Yeah, that's the big difference at the moment, I feel like, for the two teams. Yes, Prelude's been good on the attack and has been clinical all the way through this series, but the defence from Prelude as well has been rock solid and only getting past them once really shows how well they've been doing in defence. Yeah, I mean, Fearless Bravo only funding one goal in this whole series and Prelude already on 10. Um, so the pressure really coming out and they just can't get the ball clear. Mr. Benz, he's going to take it all the way himself. I think he got two 50s there in the box of Fearless Bravo and just kind of puts it away himself. And, and that can't be a goal any day of the week. Someone needs to be clearing that away. And Fearless Bravo just falling apart at the moment. They can't get anything together in offense and they're just letting so many goals in. Yeah, I'm not sure what their defense is doing at the moment all over the place. And Benzie, they're just taking advantage of it. And so is the whole prelude team at the moment. The space they've been given and the 50s they can get are, are really letting them win this match at the moment. They definitely are, and they always have that guy on the halfway line just banging the ball back in their half. No, you're not allowed to leave your half. We're kind of deciding the pressure of the series here, but they do finally break free. RP off the corner, Zeno instantly with the clear to Benzi. Benzi finding it to Tubby, but Tubby awkward. Not much piece to work with. And Darama trying to 50 that one. A shot coming in. RP just scrambling that one onto the post. A close chance again for Prelude. And Fearless Shade with a chance of his own, but the shot just too weak. Cleared away. Tubby again with the 50 onto the backboard. It's undefended. But no one up from Fearless Bravo to really take any opportunity from that one. And again, it gets cleared away. Nothing dangerous coming in. Fearless Shade's trying to find something yet again. The 50. Darama winning out on that one. He gets the 50 again into Benzi. Benzi can't find the touch. And very back and forth. But Fearless Bravo, you've got to be worried if you're supporting them because... You know, they, they kind of locked out with that 404 fit, getting the third spot in the table. And they needed to get some games on the board to secure it. But it really looks like this is going all the way for Prelude. It, I think we're looking at a 4-0 speedy. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything from uh, Fearless at the moment to give me any hope in the next couple of games. Because, uh, yeah, no nothing coming out on the attack. It looks like it's just solo players coming out. No one there to support in the middle for any of the attacks. And... When in defence, Prelude is just all over him. The ball comes out to Darmus. Well, it might be finishing that one, to be honest, with where he's been playing throughout the game. But yeah, it's just really struggling from, from uh, Fearless. And if you're looking on the other side of the conference oh. at this oh. game, it's Darmus scores. Again, Definitely. play off the defence. They just can't get it clear into the corner. Just straight back out into the mid. And he could have cleared that one kind of to the left corner across the goal, but... He just smacked it right back into into his box, into uh, Darama again. And another goal coming in. And Fearless uh, really need to kind of pull something together here, kind of fix up the defence. And Prelude's playing this to perfection. You can see they always have a man on that, at that halfway line just waiting for the clear. And then he just kind of plays it slow, gets it in the box, goes to the 50s and just battles it all the way through it. Benzi going for a double touch, almost finding it. But... The pressure not coming in and, and Prelude's kind of switching up their play style now. They're just kind of playing passive. They don't need to score any more goals. They've had enough um, of scoring. They just want to get this series out of the way. And Fearless Bravo on the receiving end of some dangerous pressure from Prelude. Yeah, just keep piling it into the box every single time. And I think that's the difference between the two teams. It's just someone's always there for the Prelude side just to go for the ball. Once it's been clear, and it looks like another game's going their way. As a, another excellent showing from all the Prelude players in that match. Yeah, I mean, an interesting fact I can pull out the bag um, is uh, Fearless Bravo actually have more goals overall in the season than Prelude. So the fact that they're not scoring is kind of shocking. They have lost um, Kanth, kind of their main attacker, which is kind of fair, but they have other players that score a lot of goals and they just can't find anything at the moment. And as well as that, they have the edge on the shooting percentage. So if they open up 
uh, the same amount of chances as prelude are for them, then they'll get more goals. They're just not getting out their half. They need to start playing slower, kind of dribbling the ball, going for 50s. There's people on the halfway line just locking them in the half. So if they go for the 50s, keep it close, then they'll be able to break free. But they're just banging it at the players and it's going right back in their half and they, they just can't break free. Exactly. And the, the prelude defence has just been stellar so far. Every time the ball's been banged to them, nice and slowly, nice and controlled, and just creating chances from the uh, the booms out from the fearless side. And it looks like they're going to get another one. RP just getting back for that one off the post and out. That looked very dangerous for a second there. But finally, a save coming out and two players up. Tubby did not need to jump for that. Now, now a goal is going to be given away to Benzi. And all these double commits, it's just chaotic. I mean, RP up for that one. Tubby jumping as well. The third man just diving in for the challenge. And another goal for Prelude. They take the lead once again. Yeah, again, the opportunity was given to them and they just take it. Um, I think Fearless is really struggling at this moment, really just pushing out as much as they can on the attack. And I think that's why it left them wide open in the defence and Benji just ready to take advantage of that. Absolutely. And my biggest worry is just how they're going to tilt, if they're going to kind of lose the mentality and not be able to reset as Darima almost finding a nice backboard read into the top shelf. But... It's a bouncer. It does get cleared away, but the pressure again. Zeno with a great pass into the mid. Darima again finding the backboard. Benzi with a little bit of a mistouch, and finally they break free. But playing it close and all the space for Zeno to get a touch on that one. Tubby again hitting that one to Benzi. Benzi quick on his feet. No boost to work with. But RP getting the clear again. Zeno's there. He finds the backboard. He might take it all the way himself. He will. The second goal for Prelude. Making it 2-0 and absolute kind of desperation for Phyllis Bravo. They need, a, they need a goal and they need it quick because they're on kind of the receiving end of a 4-0 sweep here. Yeah, really looking slow to that one. They really look sluggish through this game and Exo just getting there so much faster than any Fearless player. And that's the difference at the moment, I feel like. The pace of the game from the Prelude team has definitely been upped compared to the to the fearless side and it definitely doesn't look like a second versus third play showdown at the moment not at all and prelude really kind of showcasing to the stream you know we're in the top bracket of prospect we're, we're coming into the playoffs in the upper bracket and, and watch out for us because we're dangerous and they really are showing it just sweep in third place and it it doesn't even look close they're just they just Giving goals away to Prelude. And Prelude definitely going to be one of the favourites coming into these playoffs. And they're trying to go for another goal. Zeno finding it. But Tubby scurrying that one away. Benzi getting it into the corner. Tubby with the 50. He is going to win it. But no boost. And Zeno quick to that one as well. Darima is up. He's going to get the shot. Just hitting the crossbar. Or the post, I think. That could have been an insane goal. And Darima coming in as the sub. Definitely the star player of this team at the moment. And if I was prelude speedy, I'd be thinking maybe we want to get Darima on our team for playoffs. Yeah, definitely. If he's whipping out performances like this, definitely questions are going to be asked. But what Ooh. a shot. Unlucky. That is the first oh. time I've seen Fearless in a while put on a good attack there. If they could have done that all the way through the match, they definitely could have got into this game. Looks like they're finally getting some passes off, though. But a bit too late, I feel like. Yeah, a little bit too little too late. I mean, there is still two minutes, but they have shown signs of, you know, really, really good offense. I mean, that infield pass and the shot was perfect. I mean, it did hit the post, but it was very close. If someone followed up on that, that's definitely a goal. And they're showing kind of signs of being a really, really strong team. But Prelude is just looking better at the moment. Again, Zeno there on the halfway line just to kind of lock them in their half. But the high ball is going to... Break free, Fearless Shades can't get the touch. Tubby up as well, can't get the touch either. And two people committing. They're just making it so easy for Prelude right now. Now Prelude get a free clear, two people up. And neither of them getting a touch. And desperate times for Fearless Bravo. Yeah, I think the massive difference is team play at the moment. The Prelude side, every time there's one person going for it and never one loses it, takes over from another. But... You see the fearless side, they're just too far away from each other. No one to, to really back up the teammates. But Prelude, 
really looking solid in that department at the moment. They absolutely are, and they're on another attack. Benzi trying to lock it in, but that's the third man, and it could go all the way. The first goal on the board for Fearless Bravo. Fearless Shades with the clear, and all the pressure from Prelude finally punishing them. They get too wrapped up in that offense, pushing the third man up. One goal back, and they had two minutes to score two. It's been a minute, and they've scored one speedy. Are they going to get the second goal? Oh, I'm not sure. If they get cocky again like that, Prelude, right after I said how well they were doing, I feel like they might concede another one. But if they need to just keep their mentality and get the defence locked up like they have before, then I feel like Prelude's going to see this one out. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're just going to play defensive now. They have the goals. Or oh, they're going to go on the attack. Darima again with a shot. But saved away. And that's round Zeno again. I'll be pushing that one, but it gets scurried to the corner. Benzi finding it around another player, fi almost finding it around Shades as well. But again, Zeno on this halfway line, just locking them in. Tubby with a clear to the mid, a shot coming in. Fearless Shades again gets the clear. The pressure from Prelude just won't stop a bump as well. But the whiff from two players and no one's there to capitalize. Benzi will get the clear. But Prelude showing signs of cracking, but Tubby with the whiff. They definitely can score, but they need to kind of pull something together quickly. Uh, I think their last chance that they had is all but over. And they just need to keep it up. But again, it's just dropped. And Prelude take the 4-0 sweep. This was Fearless Bravo's game. They needed to get as much as they could from this series. And getting no get, uh, game wins from it, they have to be disappointed about that one. Yeah. As you said, they're third place coming into this and they really want to keep that coming into the, the play-ins because you want that sort of seeding. Going 4-0 in this sort of game and in the closest conference at the moment as well, really going to drop them down, I feel like. Yeah, absolutely. It's very, very close um, in that table. And the question is if they even will make play-ins. I think they will just about um, overturn in seventh with 29 wins. So no way to kind of knock them down from that sixth spot. So they are secured play-ins, but going into play-ins like that, you really don't want to be. I mean, their last five games, three losses and a draw, and they got one forfeit win. And now this game, a 4-0 sweep. They're not looking strong coming into uh, play-ins. They're losing to a lot of the teams they're going to be playing off against. And they really need to be worried. They need to get some coaching in and kind of sort themselves out because the defense... And they're just giving goals away to prelude. And if they do that in play-ins, they're going to be out so quick. Yeah, exactly. They were missing the player. So we've got to kind of bring that into the consideration there. And he might be the key that they're missing coming into these play-ins. But if they play like that, I'm not sure how far they're going to go because really struggled against prelude there. And I know there's some solid teams in them and then play-ins. So I feel like they might struggle if they play like that in, in their sort of uh, high tense situations like that. Absolutely. And I would ask you, Speedy, obviously we're going to do a, a little interview, a little player interview. I would ask you um, who we're going to get in. But I mean, do I even need to ask? It has to be Darama, surely. Has to be. Has to be the big surely. man. What a player coming in as the sub, scoring so many goals, getting these saves, all the pressure as well. What a game from him. And I think our streamer has actually dragged him in already. He is in the booth and Speedy. Have you got any questions for our little super sub in, in the in the call? Yeah, coming into this sort of game, was you expecting to be so dominant in uh with with your shooting just in general in that match? I mean, to be honest, I just went in and winged it to be <laughs> I I was like I have a great team behind me, all right? Um and to be to to be MVP in one of the games was honestly not what I came here to do. I came here to win a single game. Right? That was my mindset. If we win a game, we secure playoffs. Um, but no, I'm I'm shaking right now, man. I'm 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 on the verge of tears. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, we 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 flipped it secure play-ins, man. Damn. Yeah, uh, great um, great performance overall, man. But yeah, coming into play-ins, you're gonna be gonna be looking for games now after that that great performance. Oh yeah, we we're uh, we're already looking for scrims already. Um, Ben's is on it like a hawk, man. He's he's done he's done mm -hmm. his proud. Um, I want to thank uh, Zeno as well. And AJ, unfortunately, he couldn't be here today. But I hope he's watching this. And I would say, look, man, you've done, you've done brilliant, all three of you. And I want to thank you guys for this experience. Like, it's been, it's been a pleasure playing with you guys. 
Oh, real wholesome, real wholesome. He's <laughs> looking for screams. I ain't got any DMs. What's this about? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, played great overall. Boop, you got any questions for him as well? I do, I do. I thought you were going to say there for a second, oh, sorry to the three players on the main roster, but I'm, I'm kicking one of you out. I'm taking a spot. <laughs> you saw me today. Get me on the main team because, I mean, you, you definitely could be up there. But uh, my question would probably be, obviously, Prelude at the moment, they're sitting in second um, yeah. with now 46 wins. Majors um, on 50 wins, so they have secured that top spot. But the yeah. last time you guys faced off against each other, you did actually beat them 3-1. Yeah, um, we did. We um. Sorry, Speedy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no need to bring that up. <laughs> so, yeah. what, what do you think your chances are in, in playoffs? I mean, we have very high hopes. Like we do, we honestly have very high um, a very high bar for ourselves. And um, it it is stressful sometimes, but we know we can probably beat mages. We have that feeling. Um, if we don't. If if we don't be mages, we don't be mages. But like it is always next season. But I feel like this season is our season. We could beat mages in the play-ins today. Uh, not today, in the coming weeks. Damn. Well, yeah. we, we we could have kind of a, a two-way interview here. Speedy, what do you think about that one? Ah, oh, well, of course I'm going to disagree. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh yeah, we're going to get smashed. We get smashed every week by Prelude. It's a great time. Um, yeah. But uh, look, it's one of those things. Obviously, we're we're scared of Prelude. They they got a solid team overall, and yeah, I'd I'd love I'd love to play them in the final uh, and win. Obviously, <laughs> but uh, yeah, keep but yeah, I. I, I if if I'm gonna lose to anyone, I'd be happy to be prelude. They got a solid team, and to be honest, at the moment, I think they are like second best. Second Obviously, best. I think we're best. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're second best. Our most conference, both conferences, second best at the moment. Uh, made mm-hmm. hey, can I, the best, can yeah. I just pip in here for a second? Uh, it's nice we beat you three one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah twice. Not yeah. <laughs> not, not just twice. twice. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate, what is this about? <laughs> look, look. We can't have a great comeback without a great deficit, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> well, my last proper question would be, obviously, um, you're in Ignis. What do you think of the top two teams in Glacies, Cardinals and Kindling? Both look very, very strong. Um, obviously, you said you have high hopes. Um, yeah. How do you think you'll play against them? And, and do you think it will be kind of easy games? Are they, well, obviously not easy games, but easier than this conference? Or do you think those are the kind of teams you have to worry about? See, this question I can't personally answer myself. I've um, never watched a game of them. I've been focused on my own league. Um, but yeah, it would be nice for a new challenge, especially in the final where it all counts. Um, I was nervous enough that we were going to be live today. Um, I just can't imagine the nerves when I enter when we enter the um, the the play-ins and play maybe playoff finals. Definitely playoff finals, of course. It's going to be intense, and I think that's kind of all we have time for that that matchup. Well, I would say it was intense, but intense pressure from Prelude, kind of all the way throughout. And we will be going to Elite next. Um, in about twenty minutes' time, we have some Elite casters as well. Um to join the booth me and speedy are done today so we will be saying goodbye to the stream but stick around more rocket league to come in about 20 to 15 minutes Have to finish your plot of destruction to end 
what we love to cut ourselves off and keep holding a grudge i guess being rich was just never enough to save what we love for our death from above one for the money two for the hoes i got nobody and i'm on my own yeah i'm on my own no one to trust so i'm fine all alone i'm so sick of this way around me i know my demons surround me even the light that i held close was absent the moment they found me where do i run tell me where do i turn to escape my head filled with trouble and hurt the blood on my shoulders is soaked through my skin i bang on the door but they won't let me in don't want to drift away into the past but i just can't get over all that i had all that i lost when i found what i saw it self go just to get what i've got one for the money two for the hoes i got nobody and i'm on my own yeah i'm on my own no one to trust so i'm fine all alone i 